So something comes up in this week's Pasha about anger and I resonate deeply with that because I get really angry sometimes. Like some of the new people in my life don't believe that but those of you who know me a very long time will uh, concur. There's a fire and the truth is I've really been trying to do a lot of work on this and understanding like where's that, where is that anger coming from and um, what do I need? Like where it's, it's not coming for no reason, it's coming to teach you something, to tell me something. And actually the last time that I was really having problems with my anger, that it was actually, it was in a, I was in a really unhealthy place that um, what was happening was that it was coming to tell me that like, Charlotte, things are not growing right in your life right now. No, like they're not working. You need more boundaries. You need some time to yourself. You need to be, uh, you need to be expressing yourself creatively. Um, you need to be having, uh, well, a few other things that I'm not going to go into now, but it came to teach me something. And um, this week, Pasha, we hear about how B'nai Israel, uh, uh, everyone's around, about to go into Israel. Right? We've been in the desert now for 40 years, plus, 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 I think. Um, and uh, we're complaining again. Miriam Hanavi, Miriam the prophetess, Moshe's sister, who danced us out of Egypt, she died. And it was because of her merit that we've had this well, traveling around. Uh, there's so much to say about wells, which I'm not gonna go into now, but suffice to say, um, it's a, a connector. Right? Anyway, wells aside, there was no water. So the people go to Moshe and say, Complaining again, we need water, or we're in the desert, da da da, what are you doing to it? Moshe has enters into a prophetic dialogue with Hashem. And Hashem says to him, Go, speak to the rock, and the rock will produce water. But he doesn't, he doesn't speak to the rock, he hits the rock. And because of this, a natural consequence of that was that he couldn't go into Eretz Israel. And so I've just heard a beautiful she'or by Leah Gollum, one of my teachers. And oh, some things came through that just have blown my mind and I really want to share them. And I want to share this in the merit of a Rafua Shema for Moshe Ben Fago Sarah, I think, Shema. Shema and anyone else out there who needs healing and, and whatnot. So the first thing that blew my mind, and especially because like oh, I got so angry with my children this morning and um, they'd broken something and I just went off in this spiral of I'm grateful and they're always complaining and why are they always breaking anything and they can't after anything and da, 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 da. And I'm going on and on with this and I'm like, I hear this voice in my head like, Charlotte, stop, stop. They're kids, things break. It's like... They broke like a 20 shekel or something. It's fine, don't worry. No, it's the point, it's the point. I've got to teach them. They'll be wasteful. How will they know? They don't take... <sighs> Need to say I felt like a horrible mother afterwards. But anyway, I have like... And then I heard this lesson coming through the Pasha, so I'm gonna share it. So, first of all, why, why, like, why doesn't Moshe... Why does he hit the rock? Like, why can't he... Oh. Why can't he? I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, here we go. Why does he hit the rock? So she says, I think it's Rav Shlomo Kalibach said, and disclaimer, you know, there might be mistakes here, but this is how I internalized it and this is how I understand it. He was meant to speak to the rock. Why speak to the rock? He was meant to pray to the rock. Why pray to the rock? To show that the water is not coming from him. The water is coming from God. God cause, is causing the miracle to, to happen. So Hashem, Moshe is using his prayer and Hashem is responding to that prayer. We didn't get to see that lesson. Why couldn't he bring himself to speak to the rock? So he says, because he was so upset with them and frustrated. Like, you guys have done nothing but complain. You don't believe in me. You don't... 
and from the, and you know, you're not listening, you're not learning anything. So I'm going to hit this rock and you will learn that, that, and that it has to be by force. Hashem's like, no, no, no. We need to be compassionate on these people. Speak to them, open up to them, show them how you're feeling. Tell them what you're going through. And if he'd have done that, he would have invoked so much love. And it just really makes me, you know, two things that, yeah, words from the heart go to the heart. But also, it's like, how, you know, we need safe spaces to open up in. We need to feel safe. And just the point even that we need to open up. And I'm experiencing this in my life so much because as I've been having these like episodes of sort of anger or frustration or whatnot, I'm like looking outwards, right? At what people are like doing to me. Why are you doing this to me? And da 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 da. And really, ah, I don't think the answer lies in that. I think for me, there's some kind of like accountability and responsibility that I do need to take. Um, and I've got to, I've got to be willing to be vulnerable and compassionate uh, in doing that. Um, does that make sense? I don't know if it's so clear to you. Ah, but the next thing that came through for me, and I thought this was also really powerful, was that Moshe couldn't come into Israel with us because we had to really learn and understand that everything comes from Hashem. And that we don't need somebody else or another thing. Or, or Yes, of course, don't connect as essential, important, a, a channel of blessing for sure. But the bottom line is if we really want to connect to Hashem or we really want to grow closer to Hashem, we do that ourselves, we don't have to rely on anyone else. And I think for me that's also, I find that in my life I'm often seeking validation a lot. I'm aware of becoming so aware of that. And like, what for? I don't need validation from anyone outside of me. I, I can give that to myself and give it to myself. I remember talking to a friend just this week and she was, I was like, oh, but I want to do this and that, but like I can't because it's not, I'm just not qualified. I don't have the qualifications. She was like, I'll give you the qualifications. She just like, took her hand and there you go, you've got the qualifications. And I think um, for me, like that's pretty huge is just trusting myself and, um, you know, going for it anyway. But yeah, I'm not sure if that all made sense, but it's so important for me to just share this anyway because uh, I've spent a long time wanting to share and, and not feeling ready or brave enough or whatever it is that comes up and I'm ready to be done with that. So yeah, Shabbat Shalom, love to all and I really hope that this reaches wherever it's meant to reach and uh, yeah, Yadavashem.